What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Teddy. Welcome back to Vinland Saga. I know it's been a while. You guys have been waiting for Vinland Saga for some time. I get it. Some of you guys already knew this, but a lot of you guys also didn't. I was on a holiday for a month, so that's why I didn't film any Vinland Saga, obviously. I am back, ready. Oh my god, girl, I know it's getting crazy. And I'm here, here to watch. Uh, last episode, we ended it on such a fucking cliffhanger, and I can't wait to watch today's video, to be honest with you. Watch it start with the intro. Oh yeah, shoot. New intro, that's right. Okay. I don't have time for intros today. Not today, sir! Oh god, it's begun. I already took one little chunk a year. Yet the gun. His sword. He's fast. Why is it in English? Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this in a video before, but someone on Patreon said, you know, Snake's sword is actually a little curved. Which is very common in swords in like the Middle East. So, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really look curved, but it is a little bit. I never noticed because they always pointed it at a weird angle so that you wouldn't notice, I guess. Yeah, 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 okay. Dude. He still got it though. Years later. It's ingrained. Oh shit. Man. Oh god. Make them a little. I know, like he was talking about with the grandpa, like something is up with Snake. I want to see his backstory. Something about repenting or something like that. Or like this is the life you chose. It's a very strange style, by the way. Just when you thought. Yeah. You got me tired. Girl, what was your name again? Garda and he's dying. Watch him say he's already dead. To what? I don't need. Oh yeah. Oh my god, he's dead. 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 Oh my Mm -hmm. It's a difficult situation right now. Because the wife and they've been split up and they found each other and I don't know. <laughs> Trouble now. Not a bad 
Probably not. We're done with that shit. Oh, God. If Snake dies, this is going to be really weird. How? Where did he get the sudden surge of power? Mad. They're going to kill me. Are you for real? No. He's finished. Okay, that is the last thing I would have expected. I, either scenarios like him dying. Gara dying or Snake dying was not on my fucking bucket list for the show. What is this? Some uh, Black Widow Hulk shit. What's up with your husband? Oh my god, Snake is so dead. He goes in like full on Bjorn mode without the mushrooms. Are they really running? I know. Maybe they'll get somewhere and then he'll die and she'll just die as well, I guess. You know, nothing is good waiting for you anyway if you go back. He's already out of it. At least they're reunited in a way. This is as peaceful as, as it's gonna be. <laughs> this is like weirdly realistic, baby. As we've conquered, Haruki is dead. There's no debating it. He doesn't come back later in the plot. I did think maybe we'll have a run-in with him at some point later on by some miracle, but nope. He did. Rest in peace, Hjarti. Hjarti. We saw this. I'm watching Villain right now, season two with my mom, and we saw this. I think it was the first episode, actually. But at the time, obviously, we didn't know who this was. What was it like? Carve it? Me thinking he was probably around like 12, 13. But actually, not that long has passed since they were enslaved. <laughs> Minor cruelties from children, the usual. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Oh, 
Although we haven't followed their story for like super freaking long, like they weren't main characters or anything. They came in for like the last four episodes, or no, like the last few episodes. We got introduced to her husband, their life story. It's so sad. <laughs> like usually, I don't really get attached that fast because I'm like, okay, whatever. The decision that kind of changed everything. I'm getting like mad chills. Look at my chicken skin. <laughs> I guess she is probably going back then. I don't know. That kind of concludes the Gardar Arhid arc. Yeah, if only everyone got like a little redemption when they died. No reality checks. I pray for you. If Snake is dead, that's gonna change this story even more. Or will it? I don't know. But there's no freaking way that he just casually got like choked for 15 minutes and is fine. Or it left with a little bit of brain damage. There is literally no scenario in this where he's alive. I'm sorry, but there's not. And if we never get to find out what his past was like, I'll pass away as well. That's wild that he got choked out like that. Oh my, he was swinging his sword. I thought he was really gonna stab him again, but mm, mm, mm. I'd be going like, but he was so caught off guard. I would be too. Like who would expect a dying man to suddenly choke you out like he's at his full strength. Also, the time that it took for Gara to fucking die, it's been like, I don't know, she was like uh, keeping him in this, in this under the bed for I think a minute, first of all, with like his stab wounds. And then now he got stabbed in the heart basically, and he was still fine. Functional enough to be able to like, anyway. Sad story. We'll see what happens after this. I'm really scared, honestly, more than Arhaid for, <laughs> the two accomplices. In a way, I'm kind of hoping that whatever happens, Sverkeo is gonna be there and be like, oh, it was kind of my fault, like I encouraged it, or just put in a good word, you know? But it's not like he's there to administer justice either. He's not allowed. So it really comes down to just like, Ketzel hearing him out, I suppose. I'll be waiting to see what happens next episode. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, full reactions on Patreon, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.